selling adult services for as little as a few dollars. What is happening in Sri Lanka? And why are women selling themselves for pennies? To understand this, we must look at the dramatic shift that happened recently in the country. To many, Sri Lanka is known for its stunning beaches, exotic wildlife, and specialty teas. But despite its promising future, 2019 was when Sri Lanka took a turn for the worst. In a place where the government once stood strong, big tax cuts started to empty its pockets. Important services felt the pinch. The country's debt grew big and fast, reaching a huge $56 billion. At the same time, local farmers, the nation's backbone, got hit hard. A sudden rule against some fertilizers hurt their crops. Then, in 2019, the pandemic came, and with it, so did the loss of a big source of money. Trade got tricky because of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. And to make things worse, there were talks of dishonesty inside the country, hinting at bigger troubles. History has taught us time and again that it is those at the bottom that suffer the most and suffer they did. Access to basic resources is scarce. And in this situation, people don't plan for the future. It's not about saving, using time wisely, or considering options. It's about the immediate results. The money that workers make from working in the clothing factory or working in the tea fields just doesn't cut it anymore. Staggering inflation has caused their income to be worthless. And so, one of the world's oldest professions started appearing across the country. Traditionally, Selling these kinds of services has always been prevalent in Sri Lanka, but during the last few years, the increase in makeshift brothels and independent sex workers has risen drastically. Media sources suggest there has been at least a 30% increase in women across the country who are providing these services. Take a listen to this interview. This woman recently started working in the industry. Due to the economic crisis, the income is insufficient. Money is not enough for my family's household needs. That is why I chose this field. I run a shop and I have to pay to continue it. Because of this problem, many are now becoming prostitutes. The ladies can range from middle-aged women to as young as teenagers. Due to many industries across the country collapsing, many workers are in fact educated. They possess a lot of education and work experience, but in times of crisis, many skills and experience don't lead to food on the table. Listen to this account of an adult worker who just turned 21 years old. I lost my job at the garment factory. Then I got a job on a daily basis. Sometimes when there was less manpower, I used to hoe and work, but I didn't get money as I didn't get it on a regular basis. And it was too less to take care of my expenses. Then a spa owner approached me and I decided to work as a sex worker because of the current crisis. My mind refused to accept the offer, but I desperately needed money for my family. For workers, this is a very dangerous job. Many ladies have opened up about the harassment and abuse they suffer, some of which is even from the local law enforcement. Public sexual services, such as owning a brothel in Sri Lanka, are technically illegal, so a lot of issues never see the light of day. A report from The Telegraph spoke about how some workers must have sex with the policemen as a form of a bribe to make sure the officers don't turn in the brothel. A lot of these services fly under the radar as they operate as massage parlors, spas, and even wellness centers. According to a 20-year-old worker, her facility still attracts around 10 customers daily, usually men from the country's upper class. Recently, we had a famous member of the mafia in Colombo, and I could see all his bullet wounds. I have had doctors, lawyers, and even monks. There is this one guy. 
he is an old professor and he can barely walk but every time he comes he pays to spend time with all the girls at once a shocking lifestyle just imagine having to sleep with 5 6 7 or more people a day not only would this take a physical toll but the mental toll must be life changing the troubling fact that got us to investigate this issue was that some of the ladies were selling themselves for as little as a few dollars in the major cities it's not uncommon to sell services for around 20 dollars a time however our researcher found that in the provinces women are selling themselves for as little as 2 dollars to 7 dollars on average with more and more workers entering the industry there have been reports of brothels attacking each other naturally prices are still low in the industry so only certain types of women get the highest prices